I'm Eric. Today I want to talk about our number one top selling pigtail repair tool. You can find it here on our website, findpigtails.com, by selecting repair tools. And once you're here, you'll see it on the right hand side, the connector and pigtail repair terminal release kit. It's our number one top seller. Let's dive into that and talk about this a little bit further. So what we're going to do here is talk about our D-pin tools. We're going to go over uh, the two different sets we have that are the most used. Our 16-piece screwdriver set, the 23-piece more dedicated D-pin set. And uh, I'm going to show you the connectors, just a quick uh, overview, breaking, breaking them down, pulling the seals out, and uh, just explain why these tools are important. Um, so what you kind of see here, this is our 16-piece set, and uh, this one, I'll show you actually, let me open it up here. You're really not gonna use, you know, these. These are good for little stuff, you know, little nut drivers, things like that, little Allen set, small Phillips. But the most important here is the 1.0, your 1.4, 1.0. You do have to be careful with these because they are tiny, but this thing can can save your butt trying to get some terminals out of, uh, of some connectors. And I use this all the time. We do break them a lot, so I usually keep a lot of sets on hand even for myself. One thing we do do with these sets, uh, we get them in, because you've probably seen something similar, uh, but for us, we get them in and I just do a quality control check on all of them. So if I have any bent ones, those go in the trash. If any are missing, broken, things like that, they go in the trash. Because again, these two are, are super important. So all these that we get in, uh, check them over, make sure they are uh, good, nothing's bent, and uh, that's what we're gonna send you. So if you're not gonna get anything, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper, but you won't be able to find it uh, as good a quality. So you might have to buy one or two, which is what I've had to deal with in the past myself, just to get the correct size. And some don't actually do a true 1.0. What you'll find on a lot of sets is it's actually a 1.4. It's listed as a 1.0. I didn't even know that until I finally found a true 1.0 little flathead there. You know, little jeweler screwdriver, you know, glasses, things like that. But for us, it's a lifesaver on connectors. So that kit is uh, good to have, but the one that you really want to have is going to be our 23 piece kit. And um, I don't know if you can see this here on the lid, but this is going to be the uh, listing of kind of your brief overview of the manufacturers, what they go to. It does have the numbers that co correspond to them. And you'll see on the, uh, on the actual connector, I mean on the uh, terminal tool, sorry, um, it's got the numbers on there. So. Each one, you got the number up top on the lid, and then it's on the handle, so it'll kind of tell you what it goes to. Um, so a lot of European, and uh, actually now GM stuff uses these. And you'll see that it has the uh, two little arms here. So a lot of the terminals now for the uh, European stuff, German stuff, and um, again, late model GM, it's gonna have two holes top and bottom by the pin. You'll see this on your large junctions, things like that for Tahoe's. So it actually has to have both because these slide down in to the connector. They push the releases that are built into the terminals. They push them both down and then you're able to pull it out. Why you'll see so many different ones is because each connector has a little bit different tolerance, uh, bigger pins, smaller pins, even the same pin in a different connector may need a slight different size tool to remove it. One of the ones I use a lot, is gonna be number 21 here show you that this is a small one if you've had a uh, Tahoe in the shop Suburban you'll see they use a big 40 way so when we say 40 way it has 40 cavities which is how many holes are in that connector it may only use 16 wires which this one does so it's a 40 way connector uses 16 wires what happens on a lot of these is even if just the bumper gets hit when it's in the shop getting repaired they will uh, leave the bumper loose and uh, that connector sits on the exhaust and it melts. Can't tell you how, how often that we uh, get orders that are like that. So that number 21 for the smaller terminals inside of ones like D33C40 and uh, D33D40. Uh, and so that releases your smaller ones. It's a perfect one to do it. Again, we do the same thing with these. We do the uh, quality control check because you'll get some of these where the pins are actually, uh, are actually bent or not to the right size. So we either you know, make sure that they are, are sized correct, we fix it if we have to, or we just uh, replace it. So what you're getting is gonna be the correct set. And um, ones like number 11 and uh, 
number, uh, where is it here? Number six, those are pretty good ones for the larger pins. Um, some actually kind of bow in like that. And what that does is when it's, when it's sliding down into the connector, it may not, it may need to actually press against those releases and it may not. So with, with these, it kind of helps to force it into those releases. So something to kind of keep in mind. Again, you can try each one. You'll know, you'll feel it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but when you're sliding it into that connector, um, you'll feel it kind of click and then you kind of start removing your wire. If you start pulling that wire before it's released, you're probably gonna put too much tension on those terminals and they won't come out. So you kind of reset, pull the tool out, push that wire from behind up into the connector, put the tool back in. We've done some videos on that. We'll do some more to show you kind of how to do that, get the tension off the terminal uh, release to make sure that it comes out smoothly. Again, that's our uh, 23 piece kit that we do offer on our website. Invaluable, you gotta have these. Uh, and then that 16 piece screwdriver set. These, those two together and a pick, basically, you won't really need anything else. Um, you can break these uh, and they, they can actually be uh, bought from like Matco, things like that. You can call us, we can uh, typically source it, but uh, tool trucks usually come by most shops. You give them the number that's on that tool and uh, you can replace it. Obviously, they're, you know, they sell these kits, but they're $250, $300 uh, from us. These are less than 100 bucks, typically around 100 bucks for shipping and uh, we can get it to you. And again, we do all the quality control, make sure that it's the, uh, you know, no issues, correct tools, all that.